Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to the Chapter 1 finale of Let's Play Paper Mario! Before heading inside the boss room, I figured I'd show you the badges that I'm using. Uh, nothing really special, or nothing extraordinary, really, but, well, it's there. So I figured I'd just show it to you for those who missed it last time. Is there a pool of lava down there? We've got to have the lava pool under a bridge for first boss fight. Well, what do you mean? What, what, what are you guys doing? Are you guys gonna attack or anything sometime today? I don't want to know what they're doing. I should just stop asking questions like that. Really? A Trojan Koopa? Well, I got your Trojan man right here for boss time! Uh, he doesn't look very much like him at all. He looks like he came out of Minecraft or something. But we can take him on. Sure, why not? Okay, first things first. Let's get Goombario there. Tattle the guy. Don't have to do it, but I figured I'd show what he has to say about him. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of lame there. Oh, he's actually got defense? Oh no, I can't do anything about that. Well, Mario can, but Goombario? Yeah, he can't really deal damage to this guy. Oh wow. Well. Let's get a good power jump going there. Be oh, I did that wrong. Well, basically, in order to block that attack, when you see him shaking his arm like that, that's usually when I like to press the A button to time my defense, if I can get it right, but I didn't, so, oh well. well at least I'm getting good damage on him. Now, I could switch out Kambario for someone else, but I'm going to want him to tattle again very soon, so I'm just going to do nothing here. Ha-ha! Gotcha. Ha-ha. I was doing pretty good up to that point. But anyway, yeah, let's just finish him off with a good thunderbolt. Haha! -ha! Oh, was that the thing you were showing him earlier? Haha. -ha. Well, that was easy. Whoa! That's, now we gotta fight them all at once! Well, what are you guys gonna do? You can't sit on each other like that. What is this? This guy? Uh-oh. Okay, well, let's count all, all of them sitting on top of each other, I guess. That's... Tower attack? Yeah, pretty much. But they are pretty powerful. They have one attack power for each of them, so... Well, if they hit me, it's going to deal four damage if I don't time my defense right. And I'm usually pretty good with them. Or not pretty good at this one because it's a really fast, really fast attack. So you can either use Bombette to knock them over or deal some damage and then hit them again or something. Let's see if I can time it just right for the defense. Hey, hey, all right. I'm surprised I got that. But yeah, you basically press the A button just as they're spinning towards you. Okay, so what I want to do now is knock these guys over. Do a good hammer attack. Almost got him. And a good head bump. Ha! Now they're all on their backs for a couple turns, so that's pretty nice. Okay, well, let's start tattling these guys. We don't have to, but I'm going to anyway. Oh, yeah, pretty much. They're mo yeah, their stats are, I think they're all the same for all of them, but, well, you get a slightly different, uh, reading from Goombario there. I'd probably recommend using Goom- or not Goombario, um, Bombette, if you're going to just, uh, take these guys out without, uh, getting tattled on all of them, but I want to do it. Okay, so once you see them standing up like that, Use power block. 
Just like Mario 2, boom, yeah, it knocks them all over. And it'll keep them down for a while there. So, yeah, that's why I bought them earlier. Well, you gotta have food to fight a battle, I guess. Not a huge fan of curry myself, viewers, I'll be honest with you. Oh, well. Yeah, pretty much. Now, the reason why I'm not using Power Jump here is because, well, I got another uh, Power Block that I'm going to use to finish off those guys anyway. And let's see. Okay, let's uh, tattle another one. See if there's anything special about the Black Ninja Koopa. Well, I guess he does have the right color for being a ninja. Yeah, I suppose you could just jump on them, but, you know, I've got power blocks. I want to keep them all down as much as possible. Okay, let's uh, use power block number two. Get a little money back with the refund. Not important, though, if you don't have the badge points to do that, though. That's just, well, I figured I, I have it here, so I might as well put it to use. Well, if Yoshi eats him, he can shoot fire out of his mouth with that. No, no, that was another game, viewers. Can't do that in this one, I don't think. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to... Okay, yeah, the rest of them, pretty easy. They don't have any defense when they're flipped over, which I suppose is kind of obvious, but it's there. Whee! Don't even need to do a time hit for that one. Well, that was fairly easy. And they died. Never see them again. Uh, why is there a picture of Peach there? No, I, I don't want to know. I, I do not want to know that. But anyway, alright! Is it a star spirit or Navi? That would, uh, that would be scary. Kind of reminds me of the first, uh, what was it? Raulu from Ocarina of Time or whatever that one sage guy was. I don't know. It's been a while since I played that game. Oh, well, but. All right. It's all part of the plan. But it is going to take a while to get all those star spirits. Do the best we can. But, um, let's go without saving for now. Just in case I have to re-record for some reason. Quit pacing. You're making me nervous, Peach. Kicking ass and taking names. Yeah, he's a plumber. Well, that was the idea. Well, you did pretty well in uh, Mario RPG. Yeah, we can't get out of here. Maybe you can think happy thoughts and fly out of here. Nah, can't do that in this game. Oh, a secret passage. Well, let's see if we can find a way to look for it. Shouldn't you know about all the secret passages, though? Hmm. Well, let's see what happens if I try to go out the old-fashioned way. How's it going? Oh, nuts. Why does Bowser keep her in that room? I mean, what's she gonna do? I mean, you could save on your payroll by not having any guards around. I mean, she can't, like, sabotage anything. You don't have the star rod or anything, so. Ha ha. <laughs> 
Nuts. Well, let's take a look around. Can I push the sofa aside? No. Can't do that. Hmm. Well, let's see what we got on this side. Can I get out? Hey, alright. Hmm. Can't jump, though. Nuts. Let's see, we got... Maybe there's a hidden switch there. Nope. Can't do anything with that. Well, what else are you gonna do? You gotta keep your strength up. Hmm. Anything in here? <laughs> puff puff massage? No. <laughs> well, just like all good superheroes, you gotta have multiple copies of your costume. Or your outfit, or whatever. Aww. No photo of Luigi? Oh man. Let's see, can we get through the fireplace, maybe? Why? I, I would think a fireplace is supposed to be warm. That's kind of the idea. Hmm. Oh, what is it? Ha-ha! Yeah, you got all those candles lit there, too. Of course it's going to be warm in that area. All right, sounds like a plan. Can I take some of the candles and set Bowser on fire? No. No, it doesn't work that way. Well. Just hope no one's on the other side. Hmm. Well, let's take a look around. What do we got here? Oh. Is that yours, Peach? Yeah. Pretty much. Nuts. Double nuts. I wonder what Bowser does eat on a regular basis. Sure, why not? Let's keep reading. Maybe we can find something embarrassing. Yeah, I don't know how Bowser pulled that one off. Uh, we just nearly killed her boyfriend, and you think that she's gonna like you for that? Yeah, he deserves to be, uh... humiliated. Ha ha. Why not? Oh. Hmm. Kind of reminded of the desert in Mario 3. More of a fan of the uh, snow levels, though. I'll be honest with you, viewers. But I suppose that's not really surprising, huh? How big could the desert possibly be? <laughs> Can't possibly be bigger than Final Fantasy XII. Hmm? Uh-oh. Nice. Why do you even have a diary, Bowser? Ha uh ha. -huh. Maybe you should fire them. Nuts. How's Twink gonna get out of here? Maybe Twink is smaller than he looks. I don't know. Okay, let's go. 
Well, I don't think they're going to be as easy as rescuing you, but... Yeah, the other bosses, not so easy. Well, yeah, they are pretty easy, but not as easy as this one. You can't just completely incapacitate them. Oh, what's this? Can I fly? No. But whenever you rescue a star spirit, you get a new ability. Uh, no, that's okay. I've played this JRPG before. Nope. Let's just move on. But anyway, yeah, you get uh, star power now that fills up over time. Kind of like a limit break sort of thing. And depending on which star spirits you've rescued, you can get different abilities. With uh, the first star spirit here, we can restore uh, 5 HP and 5 FP with that. So basically, uh, regenerative healing there. Not too much, though. It's, it's good early on, but later in the game, not so much. But yeah, it uses up uh, one piece of uh, star power there, or one bar. So let's see, let's take a look at it. Yeah, you see in the upper left where there's that bar and then there's a star there? When the star is lit up, that means you have one unit of star power that you can use. You also get an ability See, can I do this? Show this in here somewhere? Hmm. Okay, well, anyway, yeah, uh, you get a new ability or command in Mario's menu called Focus, and that lets you regenerate your uh, star power more frequently. So that's one thing you could do. Oh, I'm already at full, aren't I? So yeah, if you've got, like, nothing that you really need Mario to do, then you could just use focus and let your partner finish off the last enemy or something so you don't, like, completely waste whatever turn you got. Whoa. Stay away from me, man. Whoa. I just want to get back to Koopa Village there, if you don't mind. Thank you. Whoa. Man, these guys are coming out of nowhere. See anything over here? No. Okay. Oh, by the way, some people were saying H.C. Bailey. Uh, one thing I neglected to mention is that, like with Bombette, you can use her, press the C down button, and if you explode her right on an enemy, you'll get a first strike and she'll probably kill them. Uh, let's see. So I already knew that, but this one, yeah, you could just press the C down button again and you make her explode on command, which will make it easier for you to get those first strikes. That I didn't know. I'm surprised I didn't try that out, though, with all my Bomberman experience. But, oh well. But anyway, let's head on over here and see, and talk to Koopa Koop. Now that we've finished up another chapter, he's got some more favors that he wants us to do. Sure, why not? Sounds like a plan. Um, oh, that guy, right. The, uh, dad. Oh, sure, why not? What kind of tape? Don't answer that, viewers. Is it like a cassette tape or a VHS? I don't know. I don't think they ever explained what that was. I don't think I want to know what that is. That's okay. But will Goompa return the tape that Koopa Koop lent it to him? Find out next time on Let's Play Paper Mario! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!